Hi, I'm Dr. Sudhakar from Adi Paramara, a tribal project part of the Garden City University at Karnataka State Council of Science and Technology. I have with us uh, the chefs of Garden City University who is going to demonstrate one of the unique of tribal preparation called as uh, Palak uh, Muri. Yes, we call it Soku. Now we are going to start the preparation. You can come forward and see what are the ingredients are being used. Uh, Chef Dekhan, can you tell us uh, what are the ingredients being used for this particular? Black, uh, black pepper corn and uh, red chili, salt, tamarind, and uh, the stock of, uh, stock of uh, palak soku. Palak soku and uh, yesra kalu soku. Yesru, yeah, yesra kalu. And also you have roasted tomato. And also we required oil, groundnut oil, and uh, roasted tomato and roasted onion. <coughs> and what is that mixture? This mixture is of uh, palak soku and uh, yesra kalu. Yesra kalu. Brilliant. Can we start the preparation? Yes. Go ahead. What are you pounding now? Pepper corn. Pepper Chili can be added. Yes. Only the pepper need to be added. Now we can add cumin seeds as it is directly. Followed by uh, red chili. Double the chili as it is. Followed by pepper corn. Black pepper corn. Minish nape pepper. Excellent. Now Chef Gagan is going to prepare uh, the mash of roasted uh, tomato and uh, Chef uh, Chandrakaran is going to uh, make a uh, finely chopped uh, roasted onion. You can come closer, you can see red chili, black pepper, cumin, black cumin. It's all uh, well roasted. Now, before adding tomato, Chef Chandra Karan is going to add its roasted uh, onion. Yes. You can use this. At this stage, would you like to add some salt? After adding tomato, we'll add sure. The masala is getting uh, well roasted. Required amount of salt so that the tomato can get cooked uh, faster. faster. Excellent. In the meantime, uh, Chef Gagan is going to make this tamarind paste also ready so that it can be added. So they are adding the tamarind before itself, unlike the other cuisines, the tamarind is added before itself. Now it's a time to add uh, the main uh, ingredient for this particular uh, soku, Irilika soku, which is uh, made with uh, Esre Kalu, green mung dal, old, plus spinach, palake soku. Yes, brilliant. Irilikas believes in uh, using all their uh, ingredients as it is. They also uh, kept the stock, which is used for boiling the spinach and the extra color. That's going to be again added uh, in this particular uh, sopu. The color of the sopu itself is really green. Uh, you can see it now. So we like to uh, check for the taste. 
salt. Salt is required. Yeah. You can add a bit of it. It's a quantity of it. Yeah, should be fine. Now, the sofu is uh, ready. It needs to boil a bit. A very little boil is more than enough. Now, how is the taste of it? Can you taste some more after adding the salt and give us a feedback? The pepper. The flavor of uh, pala sofu and uh, isra kalu is uh, very good. In homes and all, uh, we cannot get this type of uh, food. Exactly. It is very healthy Absolutely. and uh, good in nature. How is the taste, Chef Chandra Garan? I have a little flavor of the kalu. 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 It's pairing very, 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 very yeah. well, right? Green and green. Green yes. mungdal and green yeah. palak sopo. Let's promote tribals. Let's promote tribals. Let's promote tribals. Let's promote tribals.